The following presentation is based on one of the over 600 idea sheets created by teachers for teachers for RAFT, Resource Area for Teaching. RAFT idea sheets are a free resource for teachers and available at any RAFT location. They're also available online at raftsac.org. Raft idea sheets reference various content and grade level standards and are all aligned to address California content standards ranging from grades pre-K through 12. Standards in your state may vary, but Raft lessons are easily adaptable and often applicable to additional subject areas and grade levels. If you've downloaded the Raft idea sheet online, you'll find your sheet includes the following sections to guide you through the activity. Topics, materials list, this activity can be used to teach, assembly, to do and notice, the science behind the activity, taking it further, and web resources. Terms in this activity. Force, power made operative against resistance or against inertia. Motion, the act or process of changing position or place. Velocity, the speed of a motion or action. Gravity, the force of attraction exerted by a celestial body, such as the Earth, that tends to draw objects towards the center of that body. Newton's third law of motion, action and reaction are equal and opposite. Resistance, a force that tends to oppose or retard motion. This video is divided into multiple sections. An overview, what you're watching now, the actual demonstration of the lesson, including a complete materials list, and taking it further, showing some real-life applications for the concepts presented. A long time ago, a scientist named Sir Isaac Newton saw an apple fall from a tree, and it gave him some ideas on why things move and how things move. You may have heard of Newton's laws, the first of which is, an object will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Another law, one you're all familiar with, is what goes up must come down. I'm Dave Traversi, and today we're going to build a raft kit called the Puff Rocket. We'll use this rocket to illustrate what goes up must come down. Although Newton stated his law a little differently than that. He said, for every force, there is an equal and opposite force. So we will apply that law to make this rocket fly, and then make alterations in the rocket to make it fly even better. To build this kit, we'll need the following materials. A water bottle, some tape, two different sized straws, one that fits inside the other, a pencil, some scissors, a couple of pieces of foam, and three little fins cut from stiff paper. The first step is to poke a hole in this piece of foam with your pencil to allow the smaller of the straws to pass through. Once you have the hole poked, then carefully insert the straw through the hole and let it stick out about an inch. Then I'm going to scrunch up this foam and insert it into the mouth of the bottle. It will expand a little bit and I'll leave a little bit sticking out. Then I'm going to take a length of tape and I'm going to create a really good seal. Don't be afraid to really wrap this up because when we squeeze the bottle, we want all the air to come out of the straw. That's pretty good, but I think a little bit more would be better. If you want to test it, you could give the bottle a little squeeze and puff some air on your face. That makes a great sound and I can feel the air coming out of the straw. Next. We'll take the other wider straw and we'll take the smaller piece of foam and roll it up and insert it into the tip. This is just a little bit of a safety feature so that if it lands, it doesn't do any damage. Now, before we slide this onto the rocket launcher, we want to apply the fins. So just a quick piece of tape on each fin.
spread them around a little bit. Part of the fun of making this rocket is making it just the way you want to, but that works pretty good. Slide the rocket onto the launcher and you're ready to go. Before you fire this rocket, it's customary to do a countdown. Three, two, one, fire. Now that you know your rocket works, we can start applying a little bit of science to it. One of Newton's laws for what goes up must come down really boils down to for every force, there's an opposite force. Now in the lower grades, it's common to say, I squeeze the bottle, the rocket flies. In the upper grades, they break it down a little bit more specifically. The force is me pressing on the bottle. The opposite force is the bottle pressing back on me. Then the air inside the bottle is being pressed on and it pushes back on the rocket so that the rocket takes off. If you want the rocket to go further, you need to provide a bigger starting force. And remember, there are lots of ideas on your raft idea sheet for you to think about and discuss with your classmates. Ten, nine, eight, go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, reaching the crest of its historic achievements in space. And Houston Atlantis is in a row. Testing concepts for the future of new rocket design. 